Hello, that's been a while. Right, I quite like this one. Okay, here we go. Knowledge plus a good choice equals a good outcome. Okay, that makes sense to me. Good outcome requires a good choice and the knowledge. So if I carry that on again, I have lots of knowledge, but I make a bad choice, I get a bad outcome. Or, I can have no knowledge, or not enough knowledge, to make the choice, which will again give me a bad outcome. So, if I'm going to do my learning to develop myself, what I'm after is the mix of the knowledge, plus the ability to make good choices, so I can get a good outcome. This means when I start discussing how I want to teach my children and myself, I end up with a choice like this. Okay, Choice one is get all the knowledge I need and then make a choice. Okay, Choice two is to get really, really, really good at making choices and then get the knowledge as I go. Okay, So, going back to this one, choice one get all the knowledge I need, then make a choice. Consequence I've got of that, of that choice, is that I could run the risk of never having enough knowledge to make the choice. So I end up spending all my life gathering knowledge without making choices. Also, if I'm spending all my time gathering the knowledge, I'm not actually developing my ability to make choices. Okay, so I can manage that consequence by making sure I find time to learn how to make good choices. I see the process of making good choices as a separate activity to gain the knowledge. Okay, so that choice one could work that way. Choice two, get really good at making the choices. Now, of course, the big consequence of that is I'm going to lack the knowledge to see an action, any choice. So what I've found is well, I can manage that consequence by making lots of really quick choices. So if I pull back here, this is my sort of choice path, if you like, meandering through. So let's say I make a choice and I spot the bad consequence coming before I get it. So I'm looking out for bad consequences. I spot the bad consequence, I make another choice to go a different direction. I also get very good that if a bad consequence is coming, I spot I need to what piece of knowledge I need to gather. So I zoom up gather the knowledge that I need, then come back, use that to inform my choice, see another bad consequence, meander through that process, the meanders get bigger as my choices get better, and I might go, whoops, quick little weave, and then the direction of travel starts emerging for me of what works for me. That way, I can make good choices and gather the knowledge as I go. Okay. Now for me, both these choices are valid. This one, choice two, is how I learn. It works best for me. Okay? And I fully accept that that choice, of get all the knowledge then make a choice, works for lots of other people. But either way, both choices, both choice one and choice two, require me to get good at making choices. To see it, see the skill of learning choices as a skill in its own right that needs to be learnt. So, as a result, I've created a website called myinnovationspace.com. Hopefully that's clear. So it's myinnovationspace.com, which is from where we are organising events to help people learn to improve their ability to make choices. Hopefully that makes sense, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.